So does teeth cleaning make the tooth mobile? So this is a question asked by a subscriber. Let's address it in this particular video. Dr. Arun from Pearls Industry, running dental centers at Chennai Raja Anamali Puram since the year 2001. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel. We've got a whole bunch of videos coming out on dental health and awareness. So first, let's address this. Teeth cleaning is a very simple, safe and effective procedure. Uh, it can be, it has to be routinely done. It has to be done at regular intervals to ensure the health of the teeth and health of the gums. So teeth cleaning does not cause any, uh, any mobility to happen in the tooth post the cleaning process. Before we take a teeth, uh, before we get undergo the process of cleaning, what are some of the things that we need to consider? Because in, in, in this particular question, the subscriber has asked that his teeth looks like they are mobile after the scaling process. So what are the things that we need to consider? First, what we need to understand is first we need to do a thorough clinical examination to see the amount of calculus that are there in the teeth. What are the amount of deposits that are there? Also, we should understand when was the last time the cleaning has been done and how, post that, what is, the, what is the maintenance care that the patient has undertaken? So if, it's, if cleaning is done at a regular intervals and a very good maintenance care, then it is when you do the next round of scaling, it's usually a safe, simple, a very a short procedure. There are no side effects post the cleaning process. We use an ultrasonic uh, scaler uh, to do the teeth cleaning process. It, you, by the by method of cavitation, you have a water jets form small bubbles. When, when, when it hits the tooth, the bubble breaks and attached to that, the deposit that are attached to the teeth is also removed. So it's a very effective method to clean the teeth, does not have any side effects. But sometimes what happens when the patient has left it for a very long time without getting a cleaning done, the deposits can be quite heavy on that particular tooth or a few teeth, usually it happens in the lower front teeth. So in that case, after a thorough clinical examination, we check the amount of deposits, we do a radiographic examination, take an x-ray to actually measure the amount of bone that is there, what that is supporting the tooth. Because what happens is when these deposits are increasing in, uh, in quantity, the bacteria that is there in the deposits releases toxins causes our gums to get inflamed, in turn causes the periodontium. What is a periodontium? The gum that is that is there, the underlying periodontal ligament that covers the tooth root as well as the bone to become weakened over a period of time causing a resorption of the bone that holds the tooth. So because of the bacterial toxin, if the bone starts resorbing, usually the bone level starts coming down. When the bone level starts coming down and if you are not getting a cleaning done at, at the right time, it's, it starts a vicious cycle because the more the gum go, goes down, there is going to be a greater the gap. Greater the gap, more amount of deposits and the cycle continues. If you have left to a very advanced stage, then what happens is when you do a cleaning, already there are gaps between the teeth. These gaps are caused by receding gums and the receding bone. It's only filled with deposits. In, in such instances, when you remove the deposits, you will find a slight mobility of the tooth or it can be even an advanced periodontitis, uh, periodontitis where uh, the only option is not just cleaning, the only option is to extract those teeth. So it all depends on at what stage are we intervening to, to solve this problem. We do it at a very uh, early stage, then it's a very simple process, safe process, but when we wait for it to become an advanced stage, then it might usually, scaling is not the answer, Usually we might require additional procedures to either save the teeth or to extract the teeth to prevent further bone loss. Hope you like this video. If there are any questions, please do ask in the comment section below. Until next time, this is Dr. Arun from Pearls Industry. Bye bye and thank you.